become our student, and get access to effective and free educational materials. I hear you have just shown your hand first to Lin Ping. Yes. If I were in your position, I wouldn't give up an inch. I regret to say I can't accept your suggestion. What are you using for bait today? We are fishing with worms. The fish seem to like them. Is that so? We're using lures, and the fish are biting those too. Looks like a lucky day for everyone. Good evening, Mr. Brown. Good evening, David. Good evening, Mary. It's so good of you both to come. It's nice of you to invite us. Great party, isn't it? Yeah, really. Jane and Ted always have great parties. This is my first. I only met Jane last week. She and I teach at the same school. Oh, so you're a teacher. Yeah, history. What about you? I'm in the car business. Salesman? Yes, that's right. Oh, I see. By the way, my name's Mary. Nice to meet you. I'm Jim Taylor. Are you ready to go to the supermarket? Yes, are you? I've got my money and my keys, so I'm ready. You do know that it's absolutely freezing out, don't you? I'd put a coat on if I were you. It wasn't cold out this morning. Well, it started raining since then. Look out the window. It's pouring rain out there. Well, I guess we'd better grab our umbrellas then, as well. Have a look outside for me. Does that look like hail to you? It does, actually. Maybe we should wait for it to clear up before we go shopping. That's a good idea. But maybe we should move the car so that the hail doesn't dent it. Okay. I'll go move the car if you turn the heat on. It's a bit chilly in here. How long do you think this hailstorm is supposed to last? I don't know. The weatherman didn't say anything about this in his weather report last night. Maybe we should turn on the news in case it's supposed to get worse. I don't think we have anything to worry about. Do you want to put on a cup of tea as well? Good idea. That will help us to warm up. If I'm not back in ten minutes, come and find me. All right. I'll have a cup of tea waiting for you. If one is rich, is the happy? I don't think so. It's impossible to equate wealth and happiness. Could I understand what you said as the poorest is the happiest? Of course not. Sometimes a poor man can be extremely miserable. Can you read what this says? Yes, and you could too if your hair wasn't hanging down in your face. Don't diss my hair. I like it like this. You like it, but it's getting to be a handicap for you. Hey, that's enough about my hair. I know a great hairdresser not far from here and she is cute too. I don't go to hairdressers because they're cute. Did I mention she's good at cutting hair too? You're late. I know I'm late. I'm sorry. I tried to call you to tell you, but your phone seems to be disconnected. My phone? Yes. An automatic message says your phone is not in service.
Really? I had no idea. Let me check. Yes, it's dead. There's no dial tone. So I couldn't get through. I knew I'd be late because my car wouldn't start. It was too cold I had to warm it up in the garage with a heater. That's why I'm late. But this is terrible. I'm expecting important calls. About what? You know what? The theater guild is supposed to call me and discuss a contract for my play. They are supposed to call me this evening. If I don't have a phone. Oh, what can I do? Well, the only thing you can do is tell the phone company and hope they fix it fast. Do you have a cell phone? No, I hate cell phones. But you could go to a neighbor's house and use their phone. Can you drive me? I will go to Anne's house. It isn't far. I can call the theater guild from there and give them her number. She will let us wait in her living room. Yes, of course I can drive you. So you don't want to get your phone fixed right away? Yes, I do. At Anne's house I will call the phone company and have them check my line. If they can fix it right away without coming to my house, then we'll just return here. But if not, I need to wait at Anne's house to talk with the theater guild. It's very important to me. All right, let's go. Yes, let's go. How do I look in this new dress? You'd better change it. It's ugly. How about this one? It's really elegant and it fits you really well. Both Bob and Carl will become somebody in the future. Don't you think so? Yeah, but Bob's talent can't to be named on the same day with Carl's. But Bob is more generous and ready to help. We cannot judge a man totally by that. You seem depressed these days. What's the matter? I went bankrupt and I'm flat broke now. If I can do anything for you, don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you. I have lots of friends. Really? How many do you have? I don't know. Maybe 100. That is a lot of friends. Do you have a best friend? Of course. I have lots of best friends. How many best friends do you have? I think about 25. Hmm. I have only one best friend. I feel sorry for you. I have only a few friends. You must be lonely. I will share my friends with you. That's very nice of you. Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way, with ease and efficiency.